So this was a random craft that I did for this celebration for the retirement of one of the teachers that um, has worked at the school where I work for a very long time. And he taught French and Spanish, so the idea was that one side would be more French in style and the other side would be more Spanish in style. So this is the French side, lots of fleur-de-lis, and this is the Spanish side, um, some of the emblems of the Spanish crest. And this is all done in Procreate. This is just the sketch for uh, the template. And I also used, for sizing purposes, a template I found. You can see it there on a blog for, that was actually designed for children. So it ended up being a little bit <laughs> too small, which, you know, makes sense. Um, but I had to add an additional piece, which you'll see in a moment. So here's the cutting part. I just... I actually added, I think, a, a half inch, maybe a full inch to the bottom um, because it just seemed a little bit small um, when I taped it onto the folder. So I taped it onto the folder and then I'm using here an X-Acto knife to cut out the design. And just be careful when using an X-Acto knife. It's really easy to cut yourself. Um, try to not, uh, try to keep your other hand from the path of the blade and don't use too much pressure because when you're using too much pressure the blade can slip out and um, cut you so just move the work move the piece around as you work to kind of keep it out of keep your fingers out of the path and just you know use precaution you don't have to use an exacto knife at all um, you can use a pair of scissors that are sharp enough um, and if you are using an exacto knife, make sure to use um, a new blade or as sharp a blade as possible because when you're using dull blades, they're harder to control and it's actually um, surprisingly a lot easier to cut yourself. So here I am um, cutting out some of the smaller details inside the crown and then this part is where I make that um, little leaf for to make the... <laughs> To make the crown big enough to fit an adult person's head. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I'm just kind of using the other two pieces to measure how big it would need to be, and it ended up just needing to be a few inches. just kind of created a design that would look similar um, because it didn't need to be you know perfect I've already taken this <laughs> project a little too far um, so yeah put them all together to make sure that they fit and then attached them at the end and there you have your crown and the pieces on top are a little bit delicate so just use caution if you end up doing a lot of detail like this um, it might not be a great fit for like a kid's crown so this part I painted the pieces with a um, a shiny black spray paint and let them dry and then I wanted to incorporate on either side of the crown um, different titles so on the French side You'll see here I use these little sticker decals to put Monsieur on one side. Um, and then I use the same stencils for to add a Senor on the other side. So just a cute little thing that has to do with the wearer of the crown. Um, this is the first time I've used these. I actually, for all of this entire craft, I just use things I found around my family's house. Um, and we happen to have these. So they were pretty easy to use and to apply, remove, and reuse. Um, I'm sure you can find them at any craft store. And then I just used metallic craft paint. Um, I don't think this was even artist acrylic. It was just some random paint I found in the house. Um, but yeah, I added some little detail here with the same metallic bronze paint. And then I took off the stencils. You can see here it says Monsieur. And so this is the Spanish side and I was just 
adding some of the detail, trying to add some dimension using really just that bronze paint. And then I went in, um, you'll see a little later with some different shades. I went in with a, um, a silver too. And this is just the leaf, the little piece that connects the two. I use this uh, piece of loose leaf paper to measure or, or to add sort of a level so that all the letters um, are on the same line because I am obsessive. <laughs> you don't need to do that. And then on the same, on the stencil page, there were actually these little uh, detail stencils. So I had some fun kind of adding some detail because it's actually pretty hard using the size brushes I was using to add too much detail by hand. So this was really helpful to get the same kind of look that I wanted pretty quickly. So I recommend that as well. And then I just kind of hand painted um, some of the detail here. Using pretty much the same paint, but just using different um, brush strokes to kind of show different areas. And then I went over the top with a Sharpie to add some dimension around the letters because I realized the letters were kind of blending into the background. And then I wanted to add some detail of this like chain link that goes across the middle. So I used it for that and I also used a little bit more paint for that. So then I went over the letters again with a silver, added some more detail with the silver. This is just more metallic craft paint. You can find it Joann's or Michael's, Amazon. Um, it's not good quality, <laughs> so it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's just kind of like the cheapest stuff you can buy, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because this is like a silly fun craft. You don't need to use anything too crazy. <laughs> So here are the final products. And then I also had some glitter on hand. Um, I used this spray adhesive and the glitter is really actually pretty nice. It was only like $3 on Amazon, uh, but it's super fine. And so I just used that spray adhesive for the top of the crown and then I just sprinkled it on top. Um, and then let it dry and then I put them all together to kind of see what they looked like together and so this is the finished product we went from a file folder to a pretty cool crown if you don't look too close the seams kind of give it away but it was a pretty fun project and I'm really excited to see how it looks on a person <laughs> if they even feel comfortable enough to wear a crown as a retiree so um yeah give it a shot let me know what yours looks like see you later <laughs>